Each month, the Rapid City Fire Department holds some hands-on training on different situations. Today, the crews were simulating a fire on an electric car on the fourth story of a parking garage. Catalan's Tyler Lauder was at the training to see how the firefighters benefit from these kinds of exercises. Gas and electric cars may look the same, but when it comes to dealing with a fire, they have some big differences. This morning, firefighter crews were training on how to deal with electrical car fires effectively. Telling crews that it's an electrical vehicle with the battery compartment underneath that's starting to start on fire and beginning the early stages of thermal runaway. And the way to mitigate that is to just spray copious amounts of water on it to try to keep it cool and try to counteract that thermal runaway. Being able to know your enemy is the best way to help these firefighters. To be able to get those hands-on experiences that we've been able to get with today's drill and with West River Electric, we've been able to see different cars, different manufacturers, and different ways that we can mitigate that risk. And as the firefighters are preparing to adjust to the training that they have of working in a parking structure up on a fourth floor, uh, it lets them be more comfortable in those dire need situations where they can't get the engine right up to the fire. Having our pump operators practice tagging a hydrant, getting an established water supply. We're having them connect to a standpipe, a simulated standpipe in the building. We're also having crews work their way up the stairwell as they would in a high-rise fire or any kind of elevated fire that we can't just drive the engine up close to. When firefighters are unable to have quick and easy access to water, they'll all have to work together. It's teamwork. It's very labor intensive um, to get to the fourth story with all of our gear, all of our um, personnel in a timely manner. In Rapid City, Tyler Lauder, Kelloland News. What a hot day for training. Today's was just one of many that helped keep firefighters prepared for the challenges that could come up on a call.